Hi folks, Donnie D here. Uh, just made a couple of videos uh, <coughs> titled uh, Donnie D's uh, Flash Clay Test Parts 1 and 2. Part 1, I shot the clays uh, to see how they flashed, the different uh, ways I have of making them. And part 2 was I came back to the shop here and kind of gave my thoughts on uh, my experience making them and which ones I think work the best and are the easiest to make. And the last clay I showed you in both videos uh, I, is a, the newest way and as far as I'm concerned the easiest way and the way I most likely will make them from now on for my use. However, uh, you need to decide by looking at the videos uh, what, what suits you the best and what works best for you and what works best for your trap because all the methods seem to flash pretty much equally. Uh, so that's what it's all about is just having fun. But anyway, this new method, uh, I use, still use just a standard clay. I use, like I said, I usually buy these white fly biodegradable ones because they, they, uh, at least they biodegrade and kind of keeps the place cleaner. Uh, and they're very inexpensive. About a little less than $10 for a case of 90. <coughs> I still use the chalk line chalk. And I use any brand, really, these are the two brands I've used of, of uh, a spray adhesive. This one is a Loctite brand, as you can see. This one is Elmer's brand. You shake them up really, 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 really good before you get started. And I'm going to make two, two of them, one using one uh, type of, uh, uh, one brand of the, uh, uh, the glue and one using the other. But what the first thing you want to do is basically just take your, your chalk and fill up your uh, well as much as you can. And then, of course, kind of tap it so it sort of, excuse me, sort of flattens out. I'm going to settle it down there into the, the well. Go ahead and fill this other one up right quick. <coughs> it's a dry method. You keep the, you leave the, the majority at least of the, uh, of the chalk dry. And then you just grab one of your, and kind of watch how I do it. Now you kind of spritz it in that first. Kind of just spritz it on. And don't worry about getting some on the outer rim of it. That stuff will completely dry to where you can't even tell it's blue. Uh, it'll take a little while. Then kind of give it a good squirt and get a, a good covering of the glue. And then basically the same thing with this brand. Doesn't really matter. Any brand you want to try, I'm sure will work just fine. These are two I've tried. Same thing, whoops, same thing with this. Sometimes it wants to spatter it, so that's why I spritz it at first. Kind of get a little film there. And then just fill it on in. And as you'll notice on this one, more so than th this one, more so than this one, even after I sprayed it on, you can still see some little dry spots in there. Don't worry about that. They won't hurt a thing. Now, what you have to do, like I said, you probably do need to wait, I said at least an hour, but once you've waited about an hour, you can then go ahead and shoot these clays, uh, which makes them have the, a good benefit in that you leave the powder dry, which makes it flash good. And it's almost as quick to use as these. These take a little longer to make, uh, but you don't have to wait at all. You can take these out and, and shoot them immediately. These are the ones that I covered with duct tape. Uh, but these are, are easier to make, and if you're not in a massive hurry to go, you can just uh, make them up and wait about an hour, and they're ready to go. In fact, this one probably uh, is almost, not quite, but uh, in 10, 15 minutes, you can actually turn these things upside down, and the powder won't fall out. But anyway, that's the newest way and what I perceive to be the easiest way and uh, as cheap as any other way to make and they flash just fine. These are probably the ones I'm going to use from now on. But anyway, Donnie D, and I'll see you later.